Hi everyone, the Struthers football team off and running at 4-1 and one and expected to be 5th in this week's computer rankings. And our Gold Heating and Cooling Insider, Scotty Ohio's Mark Porter says the rest of their schedule will be a test with three of the four games coming against teams with winning records. I think they need to stay healthy and they need to get some of their young guys some experience so they're peaking going into the playoffs. You know, I think they can go 4-0 and in these next four games and that will prepare them for the playoff run they want to make. But it is a little bit of an uphill challenge with so many guys going both ways. In the John Bayek era, the Cats are 28 and 21 and have improved each year record-wise. This season, Devin Bram is averaging well over 100 yards rushing a game. He's been a workhorse and he got it done last year with over 1,000 yards. He's a college prospect. I like him on both sides of the ball. I, I think on defense, he's one of the best football players in the area. Uh, does a good job running the ball, as you mentioned but he's really the star of the team right now, and they're putting a lot on his plate. Leading that charge is a huge offensive line. If you want to talk about the strength of their team going down a stretch, it's probably going to be this offensive line. They are big up front, and they push people around. Uh, Amari and Brown, 6'4", almost 300 pounds. Vince Bola, 6'4", 305 pounds. Uh, when they need yardage, they just plow in behind those guys. On defense, they're coming off a shutout. Aiden Russell, Will Linebacker, uh, watching film of him last week versus Hubbard. He's coming off the edge, blitzing. He's in coverage. Uh, he does a lot of different things with his speed. And then one of the unsung heroes is Kendis McLeod. If you know anything about a running game, you're not going anywhere without a great fullback or H-back. Uh, he's really been leading the way.